Walking the long, lonely walk to have his fate decided. Not by a public jury, though, but instead A-level students from East Norfolk Sixth Form College. It's part of a project to reenact the Victorian murder trial, which happened in the Shire Hall at Norwich Castle back in 1829. The idea was to try and open up this courtroom um, to, the pub, to a wider public. Um, so we thought, what better thing to do than to put on some actual trials that took place here? It helps bring history to life. The All Rise for the Shire Hall courtroom project has been organised by theatre company Springboard East, who got around £20,000 from the Heritage Lottery Fund. There are 15 performances which started in March to show the murder trial of John Stratford, Guilty. who was sent to the gallows. But things were very different back then. There was an all-male jury, no DNA or forensics, and it was a matter of life and death. Like it's given us a lot of information about how um, like Georgian society viewed criminals. Being part of the jury it taught me like how important it is. Like literally somebody's life is in your hands and based on that decision you make they could be dead or not. The Shire Hall courtroom has only been reopened for performances like this in the last few years after it stopped being operational in 1988. And it's hoped in the future there'll be more to look forward to. Next year is the 100th anniversary of women getting the vote and of course there were famous suffragette trials, although they didn't actually happen here. There were some very famous uh, Norwich suffragettes who did things like uh, slash paintings and um, set fire to buildings and break windows. Uh, they were tried in Cambridge, but we are going to um, try and get some funding to put that on here. The performances of this murder trial, which, believe it or not, involved some poison dumplings, are continuing until September. It's a way to show the differences of then and now and breathe fresh life into some of Norwich's oldest and most dramatic stories. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Norwich.